Hartman uh, joining us live this afternoon and joining us now is Steph Florian and you've got a look at the weather and that is a stunning picture behind you. What happened? That was this morning. I know what happened. Well, a cold front swept across the south coast. That's what happened. But this was sent in by John. Just a gorgeous start to the day this morning. Absolutely love this photo. So I just had to share it because what I'm going to show you now is what we're experiencing out there right now. So we do have this uh, cold front that's making its way across the south coast and we are seeing a lot of wet weather. We're seeing our winds pick up right now. We're easterly at 30 kilometers per hour. We're going to see those gusts even higher a little bit later this afternoon. Sitting at four degrees, it's wet out there. It's windy and we did have the potential. We do through the afternoon as well. You can see the camera shaking from the wind right there from the wall center camera. But we have a weather statement in place. That is for Metro Vancouver as well as for the Fraser Valley where we could be still seeing between two and five centimeters of snow in those higher elevations. Uh, mountain passes, sea to sky, going to see 10 centimeters today. Coquihalla, two to four, another five tonight. And we'll see another five tonight for Rogers Pass and Kootenai Pass as well. So lots of snow expected through the interior. A few uh, centimeters are potentially there above 300 meters today. And here's how this plays out here. So we are going to dry out into your Sunday. We've got a ridge, so we're going to see some drier conditions tomorrow. But up north, we do have a Pacific storm rolling in, and that's going to bring some uh, very wet, unsettled conditions to the north coast that Sunday night into Monday. So we're going to enjoy tomorrow. Here's a look at the snowfall forecast. This takes us into this evening. So just a few centimeters potentially at those higher elevations by the water. We should be just wet and windy. And you can see there we are through the interior seeing all that snowfall and that's into your day on Sunday morning. And for peak wind gusts, it's going to get very gusty. And here's a look at those peak winds. Uh, you can see Prince George southerly at 43, uh, Prince Rupert south easterly at 72 and Port Hardy. We're seeing the highest winds there easterly at 50 kilometers per hour. So let's take a little bit of a tour. Here we are in the BC piece. Uh, nice day for the BC piece. Mix of sun and cloud. We'll see that through Sunday into Monday. We do have a risk of seeing a few flurries uh, for the Yukon. We're looking at a chance of some flurries today into tomorrow, but also seeing those breaks normally minus 13. So much warmer than we should be for this time of the year. Normally five degrees. We're right on track there for the north coast. We saw lots of rain this morning. That's easing. We should see a few breaks in through the afternoon, just a few showers, but then that rain is back Sunday into Monday when that system rolls in uh, with that storm. So it's windy uh, for the Caribou Central Interior. Not sure why that's not showing up, but it is going to be snowfall and we're expecting more snow in through the overnight tonight for the Columbia Kootenai as well. Two to four centimeters, another five centimeters this evening, and then some breaks in those clouds. Thompson Okanagan, two centimeters today, another five tonight, seeing some sunshine tomorrow. So we're all looking forward to tomorrow. Fog to start for your day and then five to ten centimeters when it's all said and done for Whistler. Gusty for the island, especially for the west side and for us here by the water we can expect those winds to pick up. We'll see that fog tomorrow morning before we get some sunshine to look forward to and then once we get through Monday, Tuesday, we've got another break on Wednesday. We're giving you a chance to win a getaway to Nanaimo. So whether you're a nature lover and have a passion for the outdoors or you love to check out the local shops, museums and restaurants, Nanaimo has something for everybody and it's quick and easy to get there. Tourism Nanaimo is giving away a hop, ship and a jump prize package that includes Helijet and Harbour Air travel for two, three nights at the Coast Bastion Hotel, meals, activities and more. You're going to want to head to globalnews.ca slash contest for your chance to win. Oh, sounds like a great time. Thanks so much. Good luck, everybody. Well,